clergy sexual abuse, French Catholic Church's new digital ID strategy. Now, this is an interesting one. The Catholic Church in France has introduced digital ID cards with QR codes for members of the clergy to address the issue of sexual abuse within the institution. The French Bishops' Conference announced the implementation of these cards, which are the size of a bank card and contain background information about the holder. By scanning the QR code, anyone can access information about the clergy member, including their status for performing scenarios, excuse me, performing sermons or hearing confessions. Green indicates no restrictions, orange indicates some limitations, and red signifies the revocation of clerical status. The move comes in response to a 2021 report by the Independent Commission on Sexual Abuse in the Catholic Church and criticism from victims who highlighted the problem of, I don't know how to pronounce this correctly, geovags, suspended priests who continue to perform religious duties. Previously, clergy members used paper documents called the celebrette to certify their profession, but the French Catholic Church opted for digital IDs due to concerns about forgery and difficulty in updating the old system. While some victims groups are skeptical of the effectiveness of the ID cards, the church sees it as one of several measures to combat sexual abuse alongside training priests and supporting victims. So... Yeah, go ahead, Armin. You have a you have a question. Yes. Um, is this so that, like, you get a red if you had sexually abused people? Red. It, it's it's. Okay. See, here's the they made this tricky. Green is like you have permissions to do a sermon you no no ahead. no I, I just want to say what you why you get read for like for example sexual abuse that is, is one that thing one? that you would get read for red in general means that you're clerical you've been defrocked basically why would you still be part of the clergy why would you even have a card shouldn't you just be kicked out of the whole thing well technically that that does mean you've been kicked out it's a way to show that you've been you've been kicked out because otherwise it used to be you... a, just a piece of paper and you could fake that easily. And there was a huge problem of priests getting How... thrown out and then just moving to a new community and no one realized that they had been thrown out. You're supposed to carry this card yourself? I guess so. I don't know where so this you're, card you're... is kept. Do, do you just keep the cards on the priest and you can just go up behind the priest and like scan the little QR code hanging off their belt? Like, or in what scenario would you ask the priest to produce their ID card so that you can scan it? I don't see this as effective at all. Yeah, I mean, if you're a clergy that is trying to do something that you're not supposed to, why would you provide a card that tells exactly. people that you're not? I don't understand this. You wouldn't make works. that available to people. Why they, wouldn't you just be, make, just kick the guy out? Put, because how about this? How about just f kick the guy out of the entire system and warn people that, hey, stay away from this guy? How about that? This is kind of their attempt at doing that. But they, they're not, this doesn't make any attempt because he's carrying the card. How yeah, is that going to work? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god darko saying put a chip in them <laughs> <laughs> like no but the, armin listen to this they made it tricky because this is they can they're using the system to conflate several things together so that if you say you scan someone's id card and it shows up as orange that doesn't necessarily mean that they've committed any sort of sexual offense it could mean that they are a novice priest and they don't have the permissions and authority to do a full sermon yet uh, or a full or no no no, no guys red, red means they red means they did sexual like that's what we're gonna think it is okay from now on okay but is it's it... like yellow and red and green all of the... no i'm just kidding we're going <laughs> Doesn't it seem like such a, a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It seems kind of dishonest to put, yeah. oh, this, this denotes your level of seniority or permissions in the same category as like, you might be defrocked because of abusing children. And like, so when you scan someone's card and you get in certain color, how are you supposed to know how much of a threat they are when some of it could be, Oh, well, they just are not allowed to give confession yet. 
Well, here's what's going to happen. This technology is going to be obsolete very soon. Here's my prediction, okay? We're going to have apps that do so facial recognition and everybody with this AI stuff, okay? And people will be reporting sexual abusers themselves all the time, right? Mm. So people are just going to walk up to you and they're just going to hold your phone on your face and it's going to recognize you and bring up all your history and all your profile and it's going to be... Oh, Jesus. Uh, gonna, your your phone is gonna go red and like this guy's a sexual abuser so you're not gonna wait let me turn this off you're not gonna need the card you know if anybody has is if there's a record of anybody committing sexual abuse with children there's going to be se- facial recognition apps that will just warn you this this mm-hmm. technology is too outdated cards are you kidding me i have to read i have to read a quote from this article about um about this so Organizations who represent victims of sexual abuse within the Catholic Church weren't necessarily convinced. Quote, it is quite an exceptional measure, which in my opinion is one of the Catholic Church's top three most stupid ideas, said Francois Duvaux, former president of the Liberated Word, which is an organization meant to help victims. If we have to scan a QR code of clergy members to reassure Catholics, it means the Catholic Church has hit a new low it's nothing more than a publicity stunt and shows the extent to which trust has been broken between the faithful and their hierarchy continued duvo who was overwhelmed by the announcement this new ineptitude is a sign of the church's idleness it has not understood the criticism it has faced nor does it want to in any case the initiative is a far cry from the measured the, the measures that were recommended in the actual bombshell report that discuss the extent of the problem they're not even going by the recommendations in that report that shook the freaking institution to its core mm. like they're like where are I you think, getting this from i thought i think these are a bunch of old uh, men who like we should like modernize and get with the times and like digital id that seems that seems like modern that seems like we're you know, advance. Okay. I think people would like that. Like, you know, digit, it has the word digital in it. So that's, that seems like, yeah, I don't know. I think that's, I think that's what they thought. Anyway. Oh, and D is bringing up on. a good point. D is saying this whole system is within the clergy. The public has no access. So it doesn't have anything. It, so it doesn't do anything within a system that historically looks the other way. That's a mm. very good point. But the comment from that victim advocate just like flamed them. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. That was brutal. That was brutal. They've hit a new um, low. I'm like, damn. Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.